Hi, I'm Brad Avery. We're here at Natural Products Expo East 2018 in Baltimore. I'm here with Tom O'Grady, the founder of Focus. How are you doing, Brad? Thanks. So, Focus is a sparkling water uh, containing caffeine and L-theanine. And uh, could you tell me a little bit about what that means and what the product is? Yeah, well, with the trends in sparkling water, we're a little bit different in being that we're enhanced. And Focus has 75 milligrams of caf caffeine, which is like a small cup of coffee. And the really difference maker in the product is the amino acid L-theanine. And L-theanine is naturally occurring in all green and black tea. Mm -hmm. And what it is is basically the calming anti-anxiety anti agent you find in a nice hot cup of tea. But when you put it in the right ratio with caffeine, it gives you a nice smoother release of the caffeine. So you get the nice lift without the crash and jitters you might get from other heavily caffeinated beverages. Right, and so this is a, a ingredient that's become kind of popular with uh, the consumer set that likes things like nootropics or the keto diet. Could you tell me a little bit about you know, who this is appealing to and uh, what they're seeking? Yeah, well, I, I think the first thing to recognize about Focus is it's uh, multifaceted. It's not, it doesn't hit one group of people. It's, it's an all-day drink. It's not just for the morning, just for the afternoon. It's a great pre-workout, great to get your day going off, great before a meeting. If you got to be up late at the hospital and you're, you're working overnight, you know, it's, it's great for that. But when you talk about um, the people that are seeking this beverage, I, I think you're looking at the, the, the healthy uh, crowd that's looking for something clean, crisp, no sugars, no preservatives, no sweeteners. Um, you know, the, the, the set that really cares about what's on the label and what they're putting in their body are, are really looking for our, our brand. Right, so what are you doing to communicate that to people? What are you doing to reach consumers uh, where they are and tell them, hey, you want that type of nice, focused energy, what are you doing? Right, well, we're, we're trying to approach it from a lot of different angles, um, one being, heavy on the uh, social media trying to get out there and reach people and let them know who we are you know we've had a lot of influencers talk about our brand and let people know there's something out there that will deliver them their caffeine in a, in a different way but not only in a different way in a clean direct way where you're not worried about uh, sugars and calories and, and any other chemicals that might be getting into your body that you don't want in there so the influencers have been a, have been a great uh, great way to go for us I mean, we've also gotten lucky with getting some nice online press. We've gotten some uh, well-written articles about what Focus is uh, bringing to the market. And, and being that sparkling is so hot right now, Focus fits in with the trends that are happening in the market. And, and being that uh, sparkling has such a long way to go, I think, in, in this yeah. uh, in this in this market that we're in right now, that the enhanced areas are going to continue to grow. So as we, we find that people are gravitating towards um, these type of beverages, I think when they, when they see Focus, they're naturally pulling it off the shelf because they're tired of the sugar-laden drinks that are out there. Right, and you know, talking about sparkling water in particular, this is an, uh, a category that has a lot of potential for innovation, and this really seems to be a early brand getting in on that, that energy element of sparkling water. Um, you know, what do you see uh, in the market for that category, and, and what are you hoping else to bring there uh, with, with this type of brand? Well, you know, I think the future, as I said, of the category is, is enormous. I mean, I, I think the growth is just beginning. And if you look at what Western Europe does with their sparkling and mineral waters, it's giant relative to the United States. And I think this last year, sparkling reached about 5% of market share. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, that number, I think, is probably going to continue to go at a four to five compound annual gra uh, growth rate for the foreseeable future. Um, and in that respect, when you talk about the enhanced, like we're doing, you know, it, that, that area has so much potential. And I, I think with focus, what we're going to do is continue to bring what we've brought to market and just try and reach uh, the avenues that we have targeted. And that's, you know, starting out with natural foods, yes, but we're, we just went into Kroger's in our region and we're getting a really good reception down there. And, and Kroger reaches a broad base of people. So right. we love seeing the pulls we're getting at, in that type of market. And we think we're going to continue to see that as we move into uh, other regions. And, you know, we started to penetrate into the Northeast into some convenience stores and we're getting natural pulls off the shelf because as you know in convenience stores you're you're not really sitting in there doing demos 
shows and having people yeah. say, hey, try Focus. Um, it's you walk in and people make that decision in a very short amount of time. So there's something there they're seeing, and I think it's that it's sparkling, it's clean, and it's got the caffeine they want. Yeah. Um, so you've been on the market for just about a year now, and um, so in addition to Kroger's, where, where else are you? What is What have you seen in that first year? Well, you know, as any startup goes through their uh, early uh, periods of pain and growth and figuring out uh, the, the, what's wrong and what, what, do we, what, what, what do we have to fix, and it, it, you go deep, you go local, and you get that all worked out. And we did that early. We were lucky enough, though, there was a small chain of natural grocer in uh, Louisville called Paul's Fruit Market, and they were willing to take us on very early, even before we actually had the product in a can. So when we got on their shelves, it, it was an interesting place to be because it was our demographic, the people we, we want pulling our product. But you have such trepidation when you bring a, a beverage to market that you, you, know, you, you, you started with an idea in the back of a car and the next thing you know, you're going through branding iterations and then you're going through different iterations of, of the, the juice itself, and then finally you bring it to market. So the great thing about being in Paul's, not only was our demographic, but it was local, so we could service it, we could be on it. But the great thing was we saw immediate results from, from those four markets that we're in. There were just four stores around the Louisville area, but the pools were aggressive and fast. So from there, we moved into other local markets. We got in Lucky's right away and Fresh Time, which you know are smaller uh, national chains. Yeah. And we actually uh, got into a coffee chain in Louisville. It's like 15 huh. stores. And they trialed us early on in a couple of the stores and noticed that we were pulling very well. And that, that growth continued, and as of last month, we're their number one cold drink seller in their cold box other than just regular water, which is interesting because you've got a lot of major brands in that cold box, so we're excited about that. Yeah, so what would you like to see now? What, where, where do you want to be going next for this brand? Yeah, well, I mean, Kroger's obviously been a, a great um, store to partner with, and as we move in our region with, with Kroger, we, we just want to get that same feeling we got at Paul's Fruit Market, and so far, we're getting that. You know, the pulls we've had over the last month with Kroger have been way above our expectations. So we're about to move into the Nashville area with a distributor down there, and we're in, right in the midst of doing our, finishing up our paperwork with Unify and Cahey. So we have a lot of channels. We're going to go national with Lucky's in the next okay. two months. Uh, Fresh Time is uh, going to expand us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like any other brand that wants to be a national brand, we're, we're working all the channels that uh, anyone would to try and get into that, that, that larger picture of competition with the big boys. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, so, you know, as you do that, and I think as we see things like l start coming up in the beverage space more and more, um, you know, where else can you reach? Are you know targeting university students, people who? Yeah, well, focus? another avenue we've gone uh, about is uh, the canteens in the country, and then the canteen is basically a, a, a work space service environment. They distribute into corporate uh, headquarters, into big office buildings, hospitals, universities. Yeah. So one of my early pushes with the guys was hey you know we have to be innovative we have to be thinking a little differently yeah. and i wanted to try and get people where they work you know mm -hmm. you if you see something in the cold box in your cafeteria every day or if you see something in an avenue c or you know, or your, yeah. your your hospital cafeteria mm -hmm. and you pull it and you enjoy it you're going to go look for it somewhere else and it's a way for us to reach people quicker than trying to get in every chain of grocery in the country. And in, in that respect, we're getting into some large corporations, corporate cafeterias yeah. earlier on in our growth period where it's a lot harder to get into yeah. Sprouts or, or mm. Kroger or you know Publix. And, and in this, in this um, environment, we're learning that people are pulling our product not even know what it is. Yeah. And that's exciting for someone who started a, a you know, beverage from scratch and it's only one year in. Mm -hmm. If they're going into their, their cafeteria and they're saying, that's my beverage of choice and I've never seen it before, yeah. it's, I think it's telling you something about the trends in the market and what people yeah. are looking for. Yeah, and the new types of functions that they want. Right, right. Yeah. Well, Tom, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your show. Yeah, we appreciate you having us and everyone out there, stay focused.